Stop in, folks, for a longer episode. We're doing Stoke and the FA Cup final. Hello, guys, and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield. And yes, I've decided, why not? Let's do the end of the season. And the reason being is, as you can see in the league table, there's a few things that you'll notice in the league table. The first one I'm going to show you is that number one right there. Yes, Newcastle have stopped Liverpool. <laughs> The, Gary Neville is in charge. Wow, I mean, can't believe it's Gary Neville that's like done it. Like you know, typical, isn't it? Like you know, X Man United, Arsenal fans. You you you're safe, okay? Like, can I mean you've still got your invincibles or whatever, like sort of thing. But the reason that I'm going to do Stoke, the reason that I'm going to do obviously the FA Cup final is is like it's Friday and I want to like just finish everything off and look at what we're in for. We could technically we could actually be in the Champions League. That is mad. But, yeah, it's all a big but, and it all depends on other results and stuff like that. Now, the 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 best thing is, is we can't finish any lower than seventh, so that's a fantastic finish, even if that's where we finish, like, at the end of the day. But we've got Chelsea, Tottenham, and Wolves, all those three there. As long as they win their games, like, you know what I mean, there's nothing we can do, like, and, and what games are they actually going to be playing? Well, have a, a quick look down here as well, because, obviously, the Leeds and the Brighton thing is an issue as well, and you'll understand what I'm saying about that, because, obviously, one of those two is going to be going now look at this what it is is that Leeds are playing Tottenham and then like Brighton are playing Chelsea yeah so the two teams I mean and those two are away now these two obviously like I mean are, are vying for, for Champions League and these two are vying to stay in the Premier League so those two games right there are going to be huge but I think it's all about Chelsea and Tottenham can Brighton and Leeds, who are really trying to stay in this late Premier League, really give them a, a tough time. We beat Stoke. We jump ahead of those two. It, it, like I say, there's, there's definitely like permutations. And then, obviously, what will happen then, after we've got where our finishing position is, we've then off to Wembley and we're going to play Liverpool in the FA Cup final. So just before we actually do show you the full like lineup and stuff like that, we've had some huge injuries. Jan Bednarak is going to be out. Harry Marsden's going to be out. Both of them are going to miss um, the um, final because um, yeah, he's out for for six days, whatever for Harry Marsden. And yeah, four to five weeks for Bednarak. He's out with a hernia, which is like huge. We got Carl Warner also out as well. Like he's out for like about five weeks as well. He's picked up an injury. Patrick Garbutt has only just come back from his injury. He's been out for like seven weeks um, with his injury but he's like not fully up to fitness and stuff like that so i don't think he's going to be also available for the um the final so yeah it's 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 a little bit of a of a blow like some of these like you know key players and stuff like that and um it's just one of those things isn't it like you know i mean that's why you have a squad you know what i mean and and yeah we'll see but like right let's get into the game against stoke then so here are the two lineups and yes we are away and i normally would play the other formation but i've decided well stoke already relegated let's go for it let's go really attacking and see if we can maybe like you know just have a really good like end to the season and stuff like that and, and really go for it because if we can get the win rather than sitting back and being defensive and the other teams do lose we get that like european spot i mean we, we might get some kind of a european spot even with finishing seventh so i'm not entirely sure on that one but anyway timo Horn is in goal. We've got Wyatt Phillips and Bucci going to play in there with Ollie Clay. Then we've got Dre and Woods in the midfield. Appleby's going to play in that like Camrell. Watkins and, um, and Neto is going to be out on the wings. Charlie Lawrence is up top. As you can see, Callum Robinson, our ex-player there, um, playing for Stoke now. Um, obviously, we had him on loan from Sheffield United, but obviously Stoke have now picked him up. Um, Danny Ward um, is in there as well. Um, obviously, he went from Liverpool to Leicester, but now he's at Stoke. I'm just trying to see if there's any other players that doesn't like anyone else is like really huge that you know looking at there like that that's you know key players but we'll see how things go but like i say like we are away um but we'll see we'll see i mean we, we used to play like this formation away anyway it's not a difference is it but highlights just started right from the beginning here from the kickoff so this will be interesting to see and um, whether like stoke have managed are going to catch us like you know right from the kickoff and it, but no it looks like we've intercepted this and maybe it's us that's going to do something here with appleby as he surges forward here he's got obviously charlie lawrence ahead of him in the box but it's still appleby going he's trying to get the ball in not able to it's come back to wyatt comes all the way across here back out to tim woods he's got a bit of a challenge there but keeps on his feet 
knocks it back. Appleby plays it out here to Wyatt now, gets the ball inside, finds Neto, can't get it initially. Wyatt picks up Charlie Lawrence and a great save there from Danny Ward in goal. Um, in fact, actually, it's gone over. It's not a corner at all. Just trying to like keep an eye. If you look, look down here, like you know, keep an eye on some of these other results and stuff, and um, just to see how things are going. Wyatt now with this throw in. A hobby plays it across. Watkins at the far stick, but not able to get there. Ball in. Charlie Lawrence with the ball in. Wyatt now picks this up. Still got a chance. It's a penalty. Yeah, Robinson, our ex like you know player that we had on loan, is actually like stuck out a leg there, and um, it is going to VAR, but surely that is a penalty, and it is. Who is actually taking on penalty? Oh, it is Dreyer. And it's a save. Wow, great save there from Ward. Like, right down low as well. It was a good penalty. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't a bad penalty. Blading from the corner now, but what a great save that was from Danny Ward. And Stoker still in this. And Bucci, that was a bit poor on his, like, touch. Plays this one out, but it's well caught out here by Callum Robinson and he's surging forward into the box now. And that's really, really poor. I just keep trying to like glance at the other results, but then we get keep getting a highlight, so I, I can't really see them. Like, but as it goes, Appleby as he surges forward and maybe caught stuck out now as they push bodies forward, but Appleby's still going and, and really he, he needs to like find someone, but no, he doesn't, because that is a superb goal. What an individual goal that is. He's gone all the way and just like and finished it. And I'm thinking, like, you've got to like at least shoot on target, but he's actually scored. What a great goal all the way from our own half here, just on the outside of the 18 yard box. And he's literally run you know the full length here, and he's still going as you can see. Goes through that challenge there, and it's a great finish like by beating Ward in the goal. But um, yeah, I was thinking you've got to lay this off, surely. Like, but he didn't, he just went for it. Um, trying to have a glance here. Tottenham 1 1. I just noticed there, uh, you guys will be able to see it better than me. Uh, Ollie Clay now. Throws this in, Appleby plays it across. Charlie Lawrence knocks it down. Watkins, what another save from Ward again. Two, I mean, he saved the penalty, he saved that one. That's, that's a great save. War, um, Lawrence with the ball in, but yeah, it's gone straight across and out for a goal kick. And that's it, you're losing again there. I just noticed the Southampton. Don't know why I'm looking at that result, but I just, I just glanced and saw it. Chelsea are winning 1 0, I've seen. So that's not good for us, but yeah, I didn't expect you know to do that. But what a strike there from Tim Woods. That was just out of nothing. Outside of the foot legs, it looked like it, he, he hit that. That was a great hit. What a hit that is from Tim Woods. He's, I, I just didn't expect him to like do it. It was just like he was just sort of like stood there, wasn't he? And then he just went, mm, "What should I do with this?" Outside the foot, gets a lovely curl on it, and and catches the keeper. It caught me out. Totally caught the keeper out. What a great strike from Tim. Tottenham one one against Leeds. I just noticed there um, as well. But um, yeah, we are um, pretty much in control of this game. I mean, we should, if we'd have scored the penalty, we'd be out of sight, you know what I mean? But as you can see, great great in the fact that we're getting more shots on target. You know, that's what I'm, I'm really happy about. And obviously having the possession and controlling the game really well as well. And, and our yellow cards have, have kind of, we've, we've sorted out our disciplinary issues because we had some, if you remember, like, you know, in a few seasons gone, we've had some really bad uh, disciplinary issues, but we seem to have sorted that. Let's have a quick glance here at um, Michigan X and see both Chelsea and Tottenham, they're both drawing. Um, does that mean... I'm trying to think now. I think we go ahead of Chelsea because they were possibly on 66 points. I'm trying to think now. We'd have to look back at the league table in a minute. Uh, we are still sitting in seventh by the looks of it. Uh, oh, Chelsea have got a better goal difference, that's why. But Tim was on the ball here. Can we maybe improve our goal difference? That's the thing. Wyatt now surges into the box. What a great goal from the right back. Richard Wyatt and our obviously viewer. Um, there we go. Richard Wyatt and Tim Woods, like two viewers, like, you know what I mean? Um, are just, yeah, showing that they want to be playing in the final. You know what I mean? Because this is like sort of performances you like here. Tim Woods, he went for an effort, but it bounced back nicely to Wyatt. And they just didn't close him down. He just blasted it in the bottom corner, like, and what a start to the second half. And yeah, he, we've got three points. That I think that's pretty much sorted. All we need now is for Brighton and Leeds to, to do us a favour here and, um, and and beat Chelsea and, and Tottenham. So I'm trusting on you guys to keep an eye on the on the results and stuff. Like I'm just gonna like drag that so it's like a little bit more in the middle. Because you remember like you know the end of like last season and stuff like that, and um, when we actually got promoted and stuff, it, it changed at the last second. And I didn't even notice, like, didn't, um, we went up as champions, didn't we? So we might end up, like, finishing in a European spot here, like, and I might not notice it, so keep an eye on it, guys. Chance here now for Stokers. Callum Robinson surges forward now into the box. 
Can we get a challenge? And we can't. There's a chance, and they have got one, so we're not going to keep a clean sheet as um, Kasobov. Yeah, don't know how you say that. Um, Sobov um, <laughs> has just um, stuck that one in. So Timo will be a little bit annoyed about not keeping the clean sheet, but he came across that really well and catches it nicely. And it's 3-1. Colin Robinson now is surging away. And oh, and Bucci, what a great challenge that is. And now it's going to go back the other way. So a little bit sort of like, you know, to yo-yo sort of like highlight this one is, is, is Lawrence has got in this and there's a chance. And oof, wasn't too far away, was it? Played inside, finds Bucci. Here's Appleby. Tim Woods goes again. And it's stung the hands of Ward. And then Ward suddenly did some weird like floaty thing across the ground. That was bizarre. <laughs> Cruz now plays this one in. This is a weird highlight from this angle. Wyatt now plays his across, and Lawrence is in. And it's a, it was just a strange angle, like sort of thing that the, the camera like changed to to make. But Charlie Lawrence has just made it four, and that's his twenty second of the season. Great ball in, as you can see. Cruz plays this one in initially. Played it out here. Wyatt picks this one up, plays it across. Lawrence totally unmarked and a great header. Um, into the into um, the top corner there, and that will be it full time. And I wasn't even paying attention to the results. I was too busy looking at Charlie Lawrence obviously scoring, and so I don't know what are the results from the Chelsea and the Tottenham game. You guys probably already know. Like I don't know. Like, but as you can see, very dominant um, with the possession and stuff. And that's it's kind of how I wanted to go with it. Like I mean, Stoke, like I say, already relegated, um, but four goals to one, a great way to end the season. Tim Woods there, getting man of the match. Great performance from him. Great performance by all the lads, really. Right here we go. Then where are we finishing? We finish in sixth. That's where we have finished. Chelsea messed up somewhere. Yes, Brighton have managed to stay out of the relegation leads drop into it like you know because they just couldn't get a winner against Tottenham um it is Tottenham that um sneak into that fifth spot but I think we are in Europe of some sort I don't know what competition it is because you've got the Europa League you've got now this Europa League 2 thing as well um I'm, obviously we don't know with regards to results I think Liverpool are in the like Champions League final I think so who knows we could get into the Europa League um, I'm not entirely sure on that we'll fast forward in a moment just trying to look at like some other results here to see if there's anything that's like you know jumping out walls yeah they absolutely smashed like Leicester so it was a good job that um, Liverpool beat um, West Ham so it's only one they've gone the whole season lost one well we did that in real life, didn't we, last season? Um, but 97 points, which is exactly what we finished as well. Um, but yeah, 97 points is what they finished on. If Newcastle hadn't have got that win, it would have been um, a centurion scenario, wouldn't it? Like, um, But um, yeah, that's all kind of scuppered now, isn't it? With all the centurion stuff with Manchester City and stuff like that. It's all like, you know, cheating and stuff, and it's all null and void. Though, even if they, they keep those titles, the they're not the same are they because we all know that they cheated to get them like so but there we are uh right let's fast forward things and see um where where we're going to stand so it's fa cup final time and we've picked up another injury ollie clay is going to be out and we're going to miss it he's out for two weeks and uh, that is a huge huge blow for us because marsden i'm having to play him and as you can see he's not fully fit he's only literally just come back like you know because he was already injured as well he was out for those six days when he's back for this so we're having to play him there and we'll just have to see how things go and then Cruz might have to go i don't know who's going to play out there but we're going with this formation we did it right when we played this formation at Anfield. We only lost 2 0. <laughs> yeah, I can't see us winning this game. I really can't um, because yeah, Liverpool just just incredible like this, the team that they've got. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a huge blow. Like you know, what I mean, with, with with all these injuries that we've just picked up as well. It's come to the end of the season. It's just the way it is. Like isn't it? You pick up these injuries and and that's it. But who knows? We could scrape something, get a lucky penalty. I don't know how it's going to go. But anyway. The good news is we are in the Europa League for next season. That is confirmed. And the reason that is also confirmed is that Chelsea and Tottenham are in the Europa League final. Yeah, um, just show you. 
I mean, we're not going to get to see this. I'll, I will do this in like, you know, uh, Monday's episode where we'll have like sort of, you know, uh, extra time video on, on there. But as you can see, yeah, Tottenham and Chelsea are in that final. And as for the Champions League final, it's Liverpool Atletico, which, um, yeah, that's kind of weird how that is in like, you know, we're playing them in the in real life in the round of 16. But yeah, it's it's Jurgen Klopp um, is the manager at Atletico. So he's got up against um, his former team in Liverpool. So we... I don't know. I don't think we get six teams. I don't think that's how it works. Um, if Liverpool win the Champions League, we know that an English team is going to win the Europa League and they get a spot. But I don't think it goes down to, to we having six teams. I don't think he wait for allow six teams in the Champions League. So I think we are definitely... What it will mean is we don't have to go through the qualifying stages of the Europa League. We'll go st automatically straight in, which is a great thing. Um, so that is great. We're, we're, we're in the Europa League, even if we win the FA Cup now, because obviously Liverpool are going to win the FA Cup as well, and that's another place. I mean, it's... It, realistically if you did it like how many teams would like we'd have seven teams in the champions league it's it's or europa or i i, I don't know <laughs> we're in the europa league i know that for sure <laughs> so here are the, the two lineups they're going with their four two three one formation they've got trent alexander arnold van dyke gomez and robertson well okay i just know it's, it's it's they've still got those four uh, and allison in goal like so the back five is still as it is today so they're all still there like so i think they've got rice and Dantas, I'm not sure who this Dantas guy is. And um, Tiago Dantas, not heard of him. Um, but he's there. They've got Zinchenko, Mbappe, <sighs> yeah, um, Brewster, and then they've got this guy Matthews who we've looked at before, and he's just incredible. He's the guy that's got like 20 shooting and stuff like that, or finishing, I should say. Um, who they've got on the bench here? Uh, Nico Williams, Roberto Firmino, Firmino's still there, Dalberg, Asti, uh, no one else. Uh, yeah, Nico Williams and, and sort of um, Bobby um, are the two that sort of like jump off there. We've already, you've already seen like our lineup and um, going into this one. We're off to Wembley. <sighs> Who knows? We could luckily, or we'll, we'll get absolutely smashed, and we'll see. So here, this is two lineup for the FA Cup final. It is, it is a huge for Chesterfield fans and stuff like that in the club. Never been to an FA Cup final in their history, and the chance here is Dantas puts this one in and great save initially, but now it's Damien Rice's uh, Damien Declan Rice, I should say. I don't know where I'm getting Damien from, but Declan Rice is just there. Um, Jeff was able to get a hand to the initial um, attempt as it comes in here. Joe Gomez gets it. Jeff's there, but yeah, it just falls perfectly for Declan Rice. And it's 1 0 um, after only five minutes. Uh, not the best start, is it? Throw in now as Trent Alexander Arnold throws this into Zinchenko. Plays it here to Dantas, out here to Trent, and ball across to Rian Brewster. But we get a clearance on it just to get rid of it. It's going to fall here to Appleby, and we can maybe get something from this if we get our players up with him. But Sutton now slows things down, finds Ben Clay. He knocks it out here to Harry Marsden, who, like I say, <laughs> literally just been, you know, come back from injury. Hopefully he doesn't get anything serious from this. And it's a good ball in, but I hope he was kind of... Kind of having to really jump for that and wasn't able to get it as Becca throws this out um, to Zinchenko and Mbappe's away and oh god here we go it's um, oh okay it wasn't the best of shots from him but um, Jeff's evil, able to get that we've not had a shot we have not had a shot in this game um, and we're getting up to half time but maybe we get something from this as Charlie Lawrence puts it in and we've scored Tisserand's there it, it was a really terrible angle for the for the camera like to see it like you know what I mean but from from absolutely nothing there was a there was a free kick here we see it back here Charlie Lawrence just puts this one in just they just let him go and Tisserand has equalized it, it's our first shot we've we've not done anything like you know sh shooting wise and we and we literally just like you know take us as you can see look one one shot what that's all we had in that first half they we, they completely you know um dominated the shooting and stuff like that it's fairly even on the possession and stuff but to go in at 1-1 is uh, wow that's just come from literally nowhere that 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 goal came and um great to see Marcel Tisserand who has got a few goals this season to be fair like I say, we could maybe produce something, but here, here we go as the, as the second half gets underway and is Liverpool again like going to probably get something again and oof, just over from Rian Brewster. Well, if we can get a penalty or something, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's all I'm hoping, if we can maybe just nick a penalty. That's something. 
But, I mean, if it stays at one all, it goes to extra time penalties. There's a possibility, but I can't see it. But they brought Bobby Firmino on, I've just noticed, and they've gone to, like, a 4-4-2 formation. The chance here, I was just about to, like, bring a sub on, but Wyatt's got it. It comes to Levi Sutton, but Brewster just takes it off him. What is Levi doing there? Comes here, though, to Ben Clay. Can he get it out to the wing here? Drea, though, has found... I'm sure he's offside. I'm sure he's offside. Charlie Lawrence has put that in, and, I, and it, I, I've got a feeling this is going to be called back for VAR. It is, and, and yeah, I think that's going to be a decision of offside. As Trent like throws this in to Bobby, knocks his back here to this Dantas guy, plays it across, finds Andy Robertson now. Can we block this? No, we can't. It comes across, and Bappe's there. Jeff's already on the floor. I don't know why he was on the floor, to be honest. Um, but Mbappe has just given Liverpool or restored their lead. I'm, I want to see this again from... Why is Jeff down on the floor? What happens? It comes here from Andy Robertson. He's, he's tried to get it from the cross. That's what... Oh, Jeff, what have you done there? He's tried to get the ball like from Andy Robertson's cross and got nowhere near it. Um, and that was easy enough for, 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 for Mbappe. Clay gets this out here to Ahoy, but he couldn't get hold of it. Mbappe's now brought this down. Declan Rice places across to Andy Robertson now. And... Hopefully, Jeff stays on his feet, and wow, that would have just ripped the net open, that shot from Mbappe there. So, changes, and they're not the changes that I really wanted to make. I've gone with the, moving into, like, this formation because we've got nothing to lose. We need to go fully for it, like, and um, I want to take Harry Marsden off because, obviously, it's fitness and stuff, but Richard White's having a terrible game with a 6.3, so I'm going to bring Cruz on there and hope Marsden just can just see out this game and, and not not get, like, you know, too damaged from it, like, you know what I mean? But that's what I've, I've I've done. Ollie Watkins has obviously come on. We've got Bucci. The reason I've took him off is because he's nervous and I don't want a centre back being nervous, like even though he's playing fairly well. Like I just, you know, you don't want that, do you? So um like I like I say, I've changed the formation um to, and and you can see where the players are now, like in regarding that. Just give him a shout, say Go for some... Oh, and Marsden has picked up an injury. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't going to happen, but it has. Um oh god what do we do now um who can play there uh not the best but we'll Sutton can play as a defender it's not not as a fullback but um can Tisseron play out there better okay we'll try that that's a bit weird um and Tim Woods has been in good form give him a go push Dreyer up a little bit and yeah let's see if we can do that so, um, playing it here from the back. Hopefully we don't um, give the ball away as Levi Sutton plays this out to Cruz now. Surging forward. We've gone, like I say, more attacking. Oh, and he nearly lost it, but he's done really well here. Now play through. Chance. Charlie Lawrence. Oh, thought he had it. But a great save from Becker there, from Alison Becker. Cruz plays this one in. Chance for Sutton coming in the far stick, but Virgil van Dijk gets there. It's coming to Charlie Lawrence. He tries to turn it, but not able to do it. And they're away here with Dantas. I don't know why Charlie tried to do that. And Dantas is away, but we're going to try and close him down. We've got two players on him. And um, whoever that was, I'm not sure, um, has just managed to get something on it. Throw in now as Trent will um, throw this one in. Finds Mbappe. Can we stop him from getting the ball in? We can't. It's coming initially. We're trying to find Matthews, but Watkins now gets this away. Oh, I couldn't find anyone, and it looks like... Oh, no, we've got another highlight. Cruz now. Phillips plays it inside. Phillips, obviously, against his former employers. Uh, and Cruz is away again. He's tried... He could have just picked out someone. I don't know why he's trying to do it all himself there. And Bappe now is is going to surge forward here. Lays this off to Trent Alexander-Arnold. You know what his crossing's like. Great challenge there from Molly Watkins. Well, it's come straight to Bobby. Now they're just going to hold on to the ball by the looks of it and just like waste time because obviously they're leading two goals to one here, but it's a chance they could just finish us off if they get another goal. Here's Trent. Plays this one across and Brewster's there, but he's headed it over and that's giving the ball back to us. But I don't know if we're going to get another highlight now. It doesn't look like it. No. 
There it is. Yeah, FA Cup goes to Liverpool. They've won. If they win the Champions League, they've won every trophy possible this season, which is insane. You could say, oh, what 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 are we doing? Like this this Liverpool side when you look, they are they've just literally won the league at a counter. They've lost one game. Like I mean, they've won Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Champions, the Community Shit. If we were, there's no way. I mean, the fact that we're even in this final, I think, is just you know. T- just incredible so for us to have, have won it would have i think that's a good show in 2-1 i think we can't we can hold the heads up high with that one i mean the only way like i say that we were going to win that would be a sheer miracle um of getting like a couple of penalties or something <laughs> but we picked up some extra extra cash which is always good to to see um and like i say we've qualified for the europa league um which is just is mad so then guys um there we go that's today's episode done and you'll get to see all this stuff i'll go through all these like you know end of season awards all that stuff and and everything like in in the extra time video um for monday and i'll go through like who won the champions league who won the europa league all that sort of stuff and and obviously the other leagues and stuff but yeah um i think we've had a fantastic first season in the premier league and unfortunately i'm sure the board now probably want us to win the champion uh, win the premier league next season i think it's bizarre like you know what i mean which just isn't going to happen especially with the i mean we we were about 30 odd points away from like Liverpool. We've got a, a long way to go. But um, yeah, the fact that we've qualified for Europe, don't know how we're going to do in that competition. It's just great that we're in it. That's just incredible. Um, player wise, I don't know who I'm going to be signing. Don't know um, if, if we're going to be signing anyone. I don't know if I need to. Like, I think um, we've got some players that are out on loan that are coming back and, and stuff, and they're doing pretty well. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll, uh, but that's all to come um, in um, Monday's like video and stuff, and I'll go through um, some stuff there. But stop, keep you waiting. This has been a long enough video as it is. And um, thank you so much for, for joining. And wow, what a season. Um, just actually just show you the Premier League table there to give you an idea, just to show it, and also like who, who you can look at like um top goal scorer marcus rashford's um actually joined with killian Mbappe, but he left didn't he? he went to did he go real madrid yeah real madrid he went to didn't he like sort of thing but he still <laughs> still ended up before going and um, winning um the, the golden boot like so that's that's mad isn't it but there we are guys and um, that's a league table um look for you and like i say i'll catch you in monday's episode have a great weekend yeah thanks for joining me one of them and i'll catch you next time dave from moonmonger gaming signing off cheers